Hello everybody and welcome back to the Traction channel for another new video and a brand new mini-series. The all new Grid Legends game launched back on the 25th of February and over on the Traction Twitch channel I began streaming my journey through the Driven to Glory story mode. In this three part mini-series I'll be showing you the highlights of my adventure, starting from the moment I first launched the game. Just before we jump in, why don't you subscribe to the Traction channel? We have all sorts of content covering every type of racing game imaginable, so make sure you don't miss out on being part of this community. Right then, on with the story. I have played a little bit of this game already, but none of the story mode. Genuinely excited for this, it's been, it's been a, a long time coming. Right. The start of Grid Legends. And that's Raven West, Nathan McCain and Laura Carvalho leading the charge here at Strad. Good to have a Scottish commentator. Tanaka spots a gap. It's all or nothing. McCain doesn't like it. Contact. We don't like Nathan. Tanaka spins out north. Oh my goodness. This is absolute chaos. Oh, we're getting thrust straight into it here. So very dramatic accident, massive crash. It looks like Seneca is the team we're racing for. And I think I'm driver 22. Okay, so it's be, it sounds like Tanaka might be injured. Two drivers requiring medical attention as well. Okay, so there's been a massive crash. We're going to come across the line confetti, as I know there always is when you finish the racing grid. And we take the win. We're going straight in for this. Toughest competition, manual transmission and assists off. Yes, let's punish ourselves. There's Tanaka. 16 months before the bear accident. This is Yume Tanaka, racing legend. Last year, his number two driver set a record for the most last place finishes in a single season. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so very poor second driver coming in. And they need a replacement. No. It's going to be me, isn't it? Guess I'll have to find a new driver. That's me. Okay, so this is the driver showcase event. London, 17th of February. So it looks like it's a touring car race. We've got TCR Golf on the front. We're in the Audi. Okay, perfect. We're straight into it then. There's not much time to take that in. Okay, Matteo Vega is the one to beat. The touring cars, from what I felt, have actually been okay so far as well. This will be front wheel drive, so we're going to try and make some progress quite early on. Fourth position. Leaders skating away already. Everything feels pretty good so far. That was a bold move. Just about clean. Very touring car-esque. Just going to try and get in up to speed with this handling model. Oh! Okay, that made it easy. Leader spun it off. Let's see, music volume. Okay. We're not going to turn it off. Just going to turn it down to like one or two. Right, there we go. Now I can actually hear the Audi. So, first impressions of this car, handling wise, it's got a lot of grip. Probably a bit more grip than it technically should, but I am not judging this against Sims. I'm judging this against accessible racers that. What I want, like, with a game like this, I want to think that someone who's a bit younger maybe an 11 or 12 year old who's into their cars can come in and actually have a good race without getting too frustrated and just have fun and get into the love of motorsport so I'm not going to be judging this based on how realistic each car is just as long as it feels good and it does what I want it to do and it doesn't feel disconnected so it's a race win in the first race that was very easy because the leader spun out <laughs> that sounded like a threat against me. He said he's not looking for a driver out front after I've just won the race by about 10 seconds. Okay, impress Marcus Ado. That is fine. I can try my best to do that. Just, ooh. I don't know if that was kind of a curb that set me off there. As I'm sure many of you will know if you're fans of this game and the previous game that the, the curbs can be a little bit lethal at times. A little bit too lethal in my opinion. But everything's under control so far. The, the slower cars, the, the, the starter cars, are, they do feel nice. They give you a lot of feedback. And they're quite easy to, to drive at a good pace. So it makes the start of the game not super intimidating, which I think is a good thing for new players. And it's victory number two for driver 22. That must have impressed Marcus, surely. Seneca continued to have trouble during testing with multiple drivers involved in on oh, oh, another incident. This is like watching the Haas Drive to Survive season with Grosjean and, and Magnussen. <laughs> oh, no, he's lost it again. I get that Marcus Ado is a bit of a sensation. Oh, dear. That's a big one. Yeah, they're not happy. I get that he's a sensation and all that, but this, this method is not good. Don't hire someone terrible and put them in a very powerful car. They now look to their new signing, taking on the number 22 to turn around this bad spell. Okay. So we are coming in beside Tanaka. The goal of this one, I think, is going to be keep it nice and clean. Don't be pastor. This is a new track again, so I'm just going to take my time a little bit and learn it, but it's very high speed so far. Feels a little bit like Okutama short. What? 
My engineer has just asked me to use a touch of handbrake. This right-hander is great to practice a power slide. No, it's not. You don't practice power slides in GT3s. What is going on? I learned how to use the handbrake and power slide. Interesting. I went to scout one driver, but found another. And I was impressed by our chat, so I made an offer. This is on Legendary, so this is the hardest difficulty, and I really hope the AI get tougher, because so far, they've not been that competitive. And I'm not just saying that. It, they Genuinely, you can pick it up, having not played this, and compete very well with the AI. We're on the snow, so I'm going to have a lot less grip in this car, but these kind of cars, I think, I'm expecting good things in terms of the way it feels and the handling, because this game is designed for cars that like going a little bit sideways and stuff like that. Of course, this is my first race for Seneca in the official championship, right? Because the first races were just the young driver, like, showcase events and stuff, so... And this might be harder, actually. The AI... It would make sense if the AI got harder for this event, because we're actually in the championship now. I hope they do. So I'm going to sneak down the inside. No, he's blocked me. Okay. Okay. The AI know how to race. This is good. Bit of sideways action. Bit of rubbing as well. Okay, I'm, I'm very happy. This has instantly made me more confident about the difficulty level of the AI. They are not just going to be really easy throughout. Okay, P3. And that was a much more enjoyable race because I really had to earn P3. Here we go. You need to stay out of the danger zone when the timer starts counting down. Yokohama Docks. We've got to stay out of the danger zone. Right, let's do this. Oh, we're in like four GTs. And we're all in four GTs. Are in Yokohama really four GTs at Yokohama Docks. Okay, this is an intense combination. Okay, this has been a decent start. We're up into P9. This car on Yokohama Docks is just doesn't work. It's not a good combo. Try the undercut on our teammate. Over the curb, over on the outside. Okay, I'm actually doing. I'm quite happy with how clean this is. Like I could be just eating it and sending everyone to Narnia, but I'm actually being semi sensible. Now, Yokohama docks again multiple different routes, and AI's binned it. I think that's the team we're looking for. The volts. Oh. Okay, so the four GT is a handful, which is good because it should be a handful. It's a supercar. And Valentin is going to be, I can just tell Valentin's going to be a very likeable character. Oh no, that was it! No, I didn't pay attention to how quickly everyone was being eliminated. I thought I had more time. The last two races have been really enjoyable, which is the most important thing at the end of the day. So, that was cool. Manzi's definitely, his AI has got an advantage over the other AIs. Like, you can see he's out in front all the time. We are on stadium, we're in stadium trucks, alright. Understeer, can't put the power down too much. Oh. Not great, not great. I am nowhere in this race compared to previous ones, so I'm going to have to improve. I, I can't remember my objective. Maxed out 140. But you know what? The truck's not that bad once you get the hang of it. Nope. Take that back. Take it back. On the brakes. Oh, we've got a massive rollover crash. Lucky to avoid that. Okay, last corner. Another third place. So that's been three races now where I haven't won. And strangely enough, that is exactly what I want. That is what I want. Because I feel like I've got to just try harder, get better, learn the tracks if I want to have a win. This is the engineer. This is a Jeep. Now this, this is our new baby. Beltra Icon Mark III, but with a few upgrades. This is cool. This would be fun to film. Because you hear Ajit in the races as your engineer, this is what I want. Like, this gives me... I feel like I know him, and it gives it more of a purpose and a character. So we've got the Laguna and the Alfa Romeo, we've got the Audi A4 as well. I'm in a 4 GT, so it looks like the touring car class are up in front, and we're going to try and chase them down. Down the inside. Already taking the lead. I think there was a bit of... Yeah, there was contact. But yes, we're up into the the multi-class bit now, and we're going to have lots of traffic to contend with. Oh, Down the inside, we've got so much more power. I think we took P1 on the last few corners, I was away thinking about wheels and stuff, but yeah, that's definitely better than 7th place and we beat Volt. I'm Valentin Manzi and I'm a 10 time grid world champion. 10 time! Okay, he looks quite young. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've, I've never actually won. <laughs> Okay, he, he even fooled me there, not gonna lie. Bringing in some amateur this close to the start of the season. You were some amateur, until Ada hired you. Thank you, Ajit. Standing up for me. Oh, we're in a time attack, Evil 4, Evil 5. Okay, 22, 
maybe a six. A time attack car should be, you know, a, almost like a purpose-built monster with huge amounts of power. And normally, <laughs> time attack cars can be quite understeery, quite limited front end. And that is what these things are. And I, I trust me, I can already feel that. I mean, there was no braking performance. I am understeering, but it feels very stable. It feels planted compared to the 4 GT, which is how it should feel because I've got a massive diffuser and a big old wing on the back. Oh my goodness, don't change view coming up to a chicane. Oh, big crash in front of me. That looks like a puncture. We've had a massive rollover. So that happens a lot more often than it did in the old games. So I think I beat Manzi, but Tanaka beat me for the first time. A challenge from Yume, Havana. This is a completely new venue. What car are we in? Oh, it's the 4GT again, but it's not. Ah. This is not the GT. This is not the 4GT road car. This is the 4GT GTE. Flat through here. Oh. Over the bumps, hard on the brakes. AI are going very slow in there. Around the outside. And there's Rick Scott ahead of us in the, the Corvette. I'm so glad that AI have stepped up their game though since those first two kind of training races. And now I understand that. That's fine. I was really scared that the AI were just going to be like that. Goodbye, whoever that was. Break nice and late here. In over the curb. There we go. That was a proper lick the stamp. Keep it tidy. That corner is faster than I expect it to be. But I've beaten Manzi. Finally, properly. And it's a win. Yume Tanaka is coming around a little bit to me when she realises that I'm actually not that bad. Happy days. Right, what's this? Oh, we're at Bathurst in the rain. First time in the rain. And I like Bathurst, so this is good. They're definitely setting us up that you're meant to feel like Valentin's a rival and he's difficult, but it's a friendly rivalry. So that then Raven West can come in and be like, they're the real evil ones. Maybe maybe we'll fail this one though. It looks like Manzi's on the front row in, a, in the Audi, which might be four wheel drive, might not be. If, if you guys know which version of the Audi is, let me know. I am in the Laguna. Let's do this then. First shot in the rain. Let's see how it looks. Now this is a super touring car, front wheel drive. Probably just as quick as modern day touring cars. Very similar in terms of speed, but a little bit less technology. We're going to go three wide though, up the hill. Oh, not much space at all. I've hit the brakes to get back out of that one. The AI don't seem too fast by the rain, by the way. They are carrying the speed, no problem. Graphics look really good. I am running with a 3090 graphics card, I believe. Thank you. This has not been as good an experience as I was hoping for. When I saw Mount Panorama, wet weather, super touring cars, I thought it was going to feel great. This this feels not not what I would hope for, Like the, especially compared to the cars I've just been driving, which have been good. It just feels numb, and I'm guessing how much grip I've got. I've got no sensation as to, to how fast I should be taking these corners. It's a bit of a shame, really, because these are the cars that I would have looked at on the, knowing they're in the game and gone, wow, I can't wait to drive those. And we're going to fail the objective. First time for everything, I guess. I'll tell you what, let's, let's try it. Why not? Let's just make the car a little softer. Whoa, easy flat through there, and I can definitely make up some time through here, so... We're going to throw it in full through the first bit. Bit of brakes down to fourth. Bit of acceleration again to keep the car balanced. Chuck it down the hill. Tight, close to the wall. Again, more speed could have been carried, but we definitely have advantage over the AI through there. What can we do about Tanaka? Let's just... I've got straight line speed all of a sudden. Oh, no, I've crashed into the... <laughs> I've crashed into the back of her in a straight. That is my bad. Oh, someone's... That's uh, Dixon spun off. That's the other... Um, Volts driver, I think Volts. Always something to kind of try and score points towards, I guess, to help your progression, so there's nothing wrong with that. We've just had a massive crash on the straight, and that should be us through. Again, not a victory, so not many victories in this stream. So it's now becoming clear okay, that the Claire's back. Some real chops. Claire Buxton. So far, the acting's been quite good for a video game. Like it, It's good. It's very family-friendly, but it's... It's fun. It's you know. It's not awkward. I very much recognise this uh, this pit straight. This is San Francisco as we know it from the original race driver grid from the previous grid in the 2019 at San Francisco. So this should be a bit more familiar. Oh, we've got a Stratos. I think I'm in a Porsche, judging by that front bumper. Yes, yeah, definitely a Porsche. Same car as Rickson, just in front of us. Now I know. I know this track. Oh my goodness. No. Okay. Attempt number two. We've got Isabella Hall and the Stratos on the left. Looks like, is that an Alpha ahead as well? 
Just going to back off a little bit, avoid too much contact early on. Love this car class. Honestly, this Porsche feels good. You can feel the rear with all the weight over it. Obviously, rear-wheel drive, rear-engined. And that comes across in the way it's handling, but it, but it doesn't feel unpredictable and floaty. I just smashed that tire barrier. Like the, uh, the, like the front-wheel drive Laguna did in the rain at Bathurst. This feels solid and planted. Not very planted up this hill. I wonder what the strat also feel like. Massive crash at the top of the hill. Oh my goodness! Oh, that, no. No, no, no. I mean, that was epic, to be honest. Not great from a race. Oh, not great from a race, but... I mean, I almost got through it. There was cars everywhere. I'm absolutely... No, no, we're out. I don't mind that because we got caught up in the big crash, lost a lot of time, so I know there's more in it. Well, no, maybe not. Finish eighth or higher. So despite the chaos, I'm wrong. I think I got through it. Sweet. 63,000 pounds. Objective somehow achieved. And we move on. Right, we'll, we'll do the next one then for our final race. That's cool. Haha. -ha. This is electric racing now. This is essentially attack mode from Formula E. But in a more arcadey sense, because I've, I've tried this. Only thing is... I don't know what button is assigned for the speed boost, so I guess we're going to have to work that out. And yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think of Grid Legends, because I know there are lots of hardcore sim fans that are not super keen on this game, but then it's not for them. So I want to hear from people that are actually, you know, really excited about Grid Legends and this is the kind of game for them. I'd like to hear what you think of it, if you're enjoying it. Because this is the kind of, this is a, this kind of game for me is the perfect introduction to someone young that loves racing that wants to get into racing games but doesn't really know how to drive yet or you know has a controller and it just isn't into the serious stuff this is a great introduction because it's just fun you just have good battles with AI you've obviously got multiple difficulty levels there's immersion there's something that makes it more dynamic than just racing there's a story to it there's rivals personalities this track though is very very high speed I swear I've been flat out for a long time now and I'm still down in ninth oh my goodness oh. okay I see a speed zone thing on the map. Let me get it. Oh no, too fast. Okay, I'll try and hit that each time. We've got three uses, so essentially like three speed boosts. I've used one of them already. Look at the difference if I press it now. Look at that. Instantly! Oh! Okay, that was a bad time to use it. <laughs> I think I've got a puncture. What is that sound? That was a terrible time to use it. What were you thinking? Sliding it in. Something is knocking it. It's not a puncture. It doesn't feel like a puncture. It feels like bodywork rubbing off the wheel or something. It's loose. Valentin Manzi is, is the man, isn't he? He's awesome. Very fast. I've only beaten him legitimately, I think, once. When it wasn't through him having an issue. To be fair, I did have a lot of damage, as you can see, in that race. So that wasn't the easiest way to end things off. But yeah, definitely didn't finish fifth. It's beginning to get harder, which is really good. So that's two events now um, out of three that I've had to redo. Lots of massive accidents to try and avoid as well. So things are getting more interesting. Things are getting more tricky. So that is a perfect time to end it. Yeah, we, we'll, we'll pick this back up again another time. But thank you so much. Keep it pinned and have a great day.